Well, Kathy, you've been a member of this church all of your life, so why don't you start off? <laughs> um, well, the history, uh, my history goes back a long way. Um, my grandparents were members here. My father grew up here. In fact, my aunt just told me last week that she had a certificate from the, um, she was on the cradle roll. And so, anyway, I was baptized here. We got married here, and both of our children had been baptized. What was the cradle roll? Well, I don't know. I just assumed that she started here as, as an infant. Um, she did tell me that even though her parents weren't always here, that um, they made sure that she and my father were here every Sunday. Even if they went out of town for a day or two, they were back here for Sunday school. Your father, of course, was Burke Watson, and he, <laughs> I can't remember him missing a Sunday when I was here anyway. Of course, Fraser Edmonds class, he was there also every Sunday. I grew up in a Baptist church, actually Grace Baptist Church. Um, Kathy and I started dating, I believe, in 1975, and we became engaged, and I started coming to church about that time. And I remember right before our wedding, we had a meeting with Dr. Cliff McLeod, who had been the pastor here for about 25 years. And he said, well, I'm not proselytizing, but uh, Baptists make awfully good Presbyterians. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, I joined the church in 76 and have been a member ever since. Now, my first experience with um, First Presbyterian Haver was I went to the First Presbyterian Kindergarten. Uh, there used to be a manse right beside the church between the uh, Roland Chapel and the parking lot. It was an old brick building. And I knew Dr. McLeod and his two daughters uh, from high school. And, uh, I, but I actually went, they lived in that house. And we had the, the church, the uh, preschool or kindergarten as they called it back then on the second floor as I recall. I remember that very well. And of course you had a good experience with the preschool and kindergarten as well, didn't you? Yes, I was, um, I was hired as the director and also taught four-year-olds. And at the time, I can't remember the year, but the time when I took the job, the enrollment had, had dropped. So with a lot of hard work and with a lot of help, we were able to get the enrollment up. And during that time, we also started a five-year kindergarten. And as far as I know, it's, it's thriving now. Of course, I went to this. I went to kindergarten here as, as a child as well. So it was a wonderful program and um, good teachers. And at the time, I was here with um, George Jacobs. George was um, serving as the minister here at the time, and he was just so supportive. And like we said, Henny Van Book was the chairman of the committee, and it was just a really it was a wonderful experience for me. I really enjoyed it. Well, the church to me has meant so much over the years during, during difficult times. Uh, the love and support from here has, has been so great for Kathy and for me. I think you would agree with that. I mean, uh, I know the, we, we've, my father was funeralized here, even though he was a member of Grace Baptist. I don't believe they had a pastor at the time when he passed away. Um, I've taught Sunday school here. I've been on the session uh, and enjoyed every minute of it. And then the, the thing is that we have so much to be proud of at First Presbyterian. Um, we got a National ec Ecumenical Award for a, a project we did back in the days when Jeff Aiken was here. Uh, we were instrumental in starting the first homeless shelter. We were interested in it. We were leaders in starting Sumter United Ministries. And there, there are other things like that, and I, I think those kind of things through tough times and good times have sustained us and kept us together because we realize that as Christians we do have a role to reach out to the community and take care of the least of these among us. And I think we've done that time and again. And uh, despite the tough times, I really believe we're going to pull out and come out stronger and join our community in making First Presbyterian a place that shines the light of Jesus all over Sumter, and in fact the world through our other mission work. Yeah, I agree. I also um, 
with our with growing up in the church and also with our children with our children growing up here now our grandchildren we have had such wonderful mentors and teachers and I just think of all the wonderful experiences that the children had with Bible school and church trips and our daughter went on a missionary trip one time and I mean just there's so many things that the church has to offer and um, we look forward to our grandchildren being raised here and as Joe said, you know, we've experienced some sad times and a lot of happy times, but the church has always been a place of, of comfort and love for me during the hard times and, of course, the joyous times, you know, that we everybody shares excitement. So we just, con- we just look forward to continuing the members here and, like I said, watching our children and grandchildren prosper here. Well, one of the strengths, you know, you mentioned some other points, but another strength, I think, is the individual leadership in our church. And it's been strong through some, you know, we've been years without a full-time minister before and came back stronger. And like I say, I think we're going to do it again. 